All right, guys, we're here at the Rod Shop. We're talking the HQ to WB front clip. Now, it is a replacement for sedan and wagon half chassis. So, as you can see in front of me, I have a couple here that have just come back from the local blaster. So, the guys have welded them, straightened them, they're all good to go. Behind me, we've got the spray boost. So, hopefully, they're not far away from going in and they'll get three coats of the Waddle Super Edge Primer. Now, the reason we prime it is for one to seal up the sandblasting. We stay away from the powder coating. So, you guys can paint it whatever colour matches your car, whatever whatever you desire, or just leave it in that Super Edge Primer. Plenty of guys have, and it will be really good for street use. Now, you jump beside me here, I have Matty assembling a couple. He's ducked out the back, we'll quickly check them. Now, before Matty comes back, I just want to show you one variation, and then I'll whip you over to the warehouse and show you what you're going to get bang for buck. Now, on this one here, we have the manual rack. On the other side here, we have the power rack set up. Now, whip over the warehouse, it's a little bit quieter, and I'll run you through what the variations that you guys can get. So if you do order one, it will turn up on a pallet similar to this. The guys have got a bubble wrap and make it look a little bit safer and neater for the old guys at the TNT trucks. But now, so first thing we offer is the bump rinds. They are fully adjustable. Now, if you can see the slotted hole, it goes up and down. So we run our factory rubber on there, rad support on, be able to gap the car up. You can slide up and down to get the perfect gaps. Now, little handy hint, just make sure you have got your car on all four wheels when you do do it, not a two-post hoist. So guys do come unstuck, whether it's our clip or a factory car. If you are gapping it up, make sure it's on all four wheels. Now, that's that out of the way. Now, we offer a sway bar. If we look down here, we have mounting points on each side of the chassis there. We have our sway bar link pins, a couple of rubbers. Now, that's an option available, so speak to our guys for that option there. Now, the rack, as you can see, we've got the power rack on this one with the two ports. Now, if you look at the two ports there, you've got your two fittings there. So, a couple of banjo fittings, up we go to any pump, 308, LS, it won't really matter. These racks, they don't mind the pressure variation, they work really well. So that's that out of the way there. Now, we go to the wheelwood spindle. Wheelwood offers a standard height or a lowered spindle. So we sneak down around in here. They all look the same, but the pin height changes on the spindle. But works really well either way. It's just what height you prefer, what look you're chasing for your car. Now, that's that. Viking coilovers, the leader in coilovers on the market. You have compression you have rebound, so you can set it your own way. Now we'll throw you some spanners in. You can also do your lock nuts up, changing the height. Once you get your height set, nip them up. You can get a little bit of variation in the car. The brakes, the brake package, that's our base one. Now we would now have brought out a caliper to suit our base package there, but you can go from our base package, which you see here, all the way to the large Wilwood with a six piston caliper. Uh, caster, camber, geometry, it's all set up in this car, so it's not going to ride like your factory one. The guys have added all that into it. When it comes to wheel aligning, obviously do the best you can with a tape measure on the floor at home or in the shed, but definitely go and see the expert. Now, if they can't adjust these shims that are all set up here, which is super easy for them guys to adjust, they shouldn't be doing wheel alignment, shouldn't be working on the car, plain and simple. That's that part out of the way. So geometry's done, the brake's awesome, you've got Plenty of options for steering. Now when it comes into the engine mounts, we do different combinations. So I'll jump out of your way. The staunches are all in the same location. So you can run an LS, a 308, a straight six, whatever you choose, we can supply you the correct engine mounts. And we go back to our gearbox cross member, which is down here. That, that comes with a clip. So when you do the order with the guys online, or you do have the phone, or however you do it, they'll ask what transmission you're gonna run. The cross member comes as part of the package, comes in there, we make it the suit, may change the height or the depth, but all that is in the cross member what you order. Now, the variation on the cars, I'll just lay these out here. If you check it out, I've got six shims here now. They come with a kit. There's a five mil and a three mil shim. Now, not all cars are the same. There's variation, there's a fair age gap, fair age now to them cars. Uh, it's been a lot of wear and tear, but also out of the factory, there was variation in, in your front end or underneath your car. Now, all these come out within the millimetre, so I know the chassis are right, but the problem is in the floors, there, there's a massive variation. Some you can slide your finger in, the next one you can't get in there, it will hit the floor before the pads will go there. So we do not want to run the rubbers, no matter what, we do not want to run the rubbers. You want to build it solid to the floor to, to gain the strength of the vehicle. 
And now, if it hit him on the floor, there's a fair gap, the shim kick comes into play. Now, we've got the five, we've got the three, you may need both, you may need, may not need any. But if you do, if you put one onto here, make sure they match at all six points so we go around. So, there's obviously three down each side. They all have to be even. So, we're going on to one pad, we go to the rest. So, like I said, may need it, may not. If you do, it doesn't matter. You're not going to lose strength. It's solid steel. It's part of the boss. It'll just be as strong with or without them. Now, it's chrome molly. It rebounds back into position, unlike the old ones. Once they bend, they stay there. So the strength is amazing. It's engineered. They're out there everywhere. Now, if you click on the link below, you'll see there's images of it in cars. There's images of it out of vehicles. You've got the data sheets. You've got the tech support. Uh, any, any questions, jump the guys. Sales at Rod Shop, they'll help you out. Give them a call on the phone or follow us, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We're covering all regions. Whatever you like watching or seeing or where we are, the Rod Shop have got it covered. So a little bit of tech, a little bit of insight on what we do. We've got a lot more coming your way. Thanks again for watching.